Tice needed back-to-back wins with a whole shot victory over points leader Matt Hagan. This is the first race of six in the Mellow Yellow Countdown to the Championship and gives Tice crucial points for clinching a championship. We did exactly what we had to do come in here and win this race for Auto Club, but the truth is uh, we didn't gain a whole lot. The number one team, we only gained 20 points on him. He out-qualified me. Good job, dude. They're tough. Uh, that, that, that team over there, they're going to fight to the end, and they're going to be tough. But I tell you what, this Auto Club Ford is back. This is unbelievable. Mike Neff, I'm learning about how he races. You know, you can struggle in qualifying, but you don't get down. Keep your confidence up. It's back on race day. Yes! It was a wild day of ups at the top fuel, but Morgan Lucas took the top spot with a victory over new points leader Spencer Massey. Lucas now has nine career wins and two victories in the past four events, moving up to third place in the countdown to the championship. One race, one volley. I think that's a that's a good starting point for us. But realistically, it's the guys. It does everything that they do, and. Really, I can't thank Napa uh, enough and Carlisle for, for being part of this. We're sponsored by Mac, and I love those guys, but we really appreciate what they're doing for our sport. It's a really big deal. Uh, Geico, everybody back home. It's a great way to start the countdown. <laughs> My wife will be down here in a few minutes. I love her to death. She's going to be so excited. It's not even funny. Hopefully, she doesn't go in labor right now. But uh, <laughs> My whole team, it's just going to be such an amazing day. Spencer, those guys are tough competitors, but uh, uh, we just outlasted them. Pro Stock's Jay Coughlin earned his third victory this season and his 55th in his career by outrunning Jason Lyon in the final round. Coughlin also moved past teammate and defending world champion Alan Johnson into second place in the point standings. Max Drag Life. First time. Fantastic. Yeah, we've uh, we've had great success on the NHRA Tour, and, uh, you know, to, to win at the Bellagio of uh, Drag Strips feels fantastic. But, uh, you know, i got to give it all to my team. They really did a fantastic job this weekend uh, turning this car around the last couple weeks. And, uh, you know, to enter the countdown uh, a couple rounds behind, uh, we made up a little bit of ground, but uh, obviously there's a ton of racing left. And uh, got by some really bad cats today. And uh, But uh, we're sitting here with the Wally and uh, the big win. Woo! The Pro Stock Motorcycles, Andrew Hines picked up his first win of the season in his first final round appearance of the year by naming Hector Arana Sr. The victory was a big boost for Hines, who struggled the majority of the season and failed to advance to the countdown. This is absolutely amazing. You have no idea what it means to me. My team, I owe all my team, we just we got back to the trailer after the semifinals and my brother's like, what do you think? Should we change motors? Put a nice cold one in there and we did that in 25 minutes between Eddie, Ray, Matt, Scott, and myself. I have an awesome team. They, uh, they've uh, shown me the way to keep a cool head. This is our brand new 2013 two valve engine with eight inch push rods designed at Vance and Hines by Matt Hines, Byron Hines, and myself on SolidWorks. Right in the power plant that I got the machine on a five axis machine. It's just a... Thank you, Eddie. You're the best teammate in the world, man. Keep my head calm. I'm so emotional because this is a, a long road we had this year. Missed the cut, but I'm a nightmare. Final lap of the race is underway. The number one seed entering the chase. Likeable, fun sense of humor, easy to talk to, but all business behind the wheel. Tonight, he'll wind up leading the most laps and in an effort to start his championship off, collect maximum points at Chicago Land. Check the flag and the guy go 400 to miss Mr. Matt Kenton.
guys, Sports Weekend Review. It is Tuesday, not Monday. Oh, actually, I, well, I was going to do it Monday, but it was a stressful day at work. Didn't feel like doing it, but in Sunday, what went down and all that stuff, I'll get right to it. So, we'll start off with NASCAR. Well, it was a rain delay, but they finished it under the lights, and Matt Kenseth picked it up. And, uh, and is it possible can he, can he be heading to his second title in 10 years? I mean, it's possible, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it, Kurt Busch had a good finish. He's up there in that, in that team car team, first row, and Dale Jr., yeah, uh, it, it got from bad to worse for him. Had that payroll incident, and he blew a motor, so, but yeah, happy for Matt Kenseth. No, n nothing against him. Kyle Busch almost dumb in the day, and, uh, he, he was back there in second, and Jimmy Johnson was coming, and, Thank God for that other caution, and he didn't get back up there. But, but anywho, uh, next is New Hampshire, so we'll see you with that. And plus, that whole media deal, yes, I am a little odd for Jeff Gordon being in 13th after what uh, uh, Front Row and uh, Penske Racing did, but but same with like Michael Waltrip, who uh, yeah got, got fine all that stuff, and... Uh, well, see the see the thing is with um with, with this okay so Michael Walter was obviously got caught but you didn't know about Penske and front row so so my question is if uh, well if well if they're under watch or in a probation what happens if Joey Logano wins the title I mean. I think what they should have done, guys, honestly, I think they should put Joey out and then Gordon in. Then it'll be the whole 12 car field. But no, they had to add another spot. It is confusing, but it's the way it is. And it's kind of like they gave Jeff Gordon a favor. Like, well, drivers were, were playing against him, I understand that, but I, I don't know. It's just, it's confusing. But. Who next year they'll go back to the same deal. Hope they don't change that again. But, <laughs> but yeah, but the rules have been a little bit odd. I mean, I actually listened to their breaking news meeting on I think it was Saturday or I think it was Friday. Yeah, it was Friday that uh, they uh, announced it. And uh, and yes, they do need to get back the rules back together. And and uh, I think that, 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 that what Brian France said. So yeah, hopefully they, they will. Because guys, you definitely need some work on some stuff. So. So anywho, uh, NHRA, you just seen there, the results, um, at the beginning of this. And then next up is the Fall Nationals at Houston. So, yeah, so, uh, so Morgan, Height, Coughlin, left all the, left, left the points lead, and, uh, pros on motorcycle, I can't remember, but, but yeah, no, I think Coughlin's second, yeah, that's right. And then I think Heights up there, and I think uh, Lucas took, took, took the lead, but yeah. Plus, Eric Anders was back in, in a new uh, sponsor, Husky uh, Liners, so she's back in it. I'm hoping for her to be the first female to win the Pro Stock title, but we'll see. I mean, how, how, how that goes. Because she, she made the semifinals. It was it was good, but she got beat out by Jason Lyons, so, but... Yeah, just we'll wait for the Fall National, see what happens there. It'll be on at 9, my time, on ESPN3, so. If you guys have charter, that is. So. <laughs> and, um, WE. The other part of Sunday night, while I didn't do this, I was watching that, the Night of Champions, and, um, and there was all title changes, but one. I mean, no, I mean, no, I'm saying the, there was one title change. The rest were defended, and plus the Miz beat, uh, uh, on Dungle. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But, uh, yeah, the Daniel Bryan won, and the referee did do a fast count in our Raw last night. Bryan got stripped. So, I wonder how it's going to happen at WWE's newly named pay per view, Battleground. Now, I think it might be a tournament, Battle Royal, but I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to have a plan for this, so we'll see. Um,. Yeah, this new stable, the new corporation, starting to get this storyline boosted up, so. They plus TNA's falling apart, so. Yeah, I just seen on recent news, I was 
look at my f Facebook page that uh, my wrestling group uh, Raw Down Rebound and um, and 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 TNA is falling apart. I mean, they're they're actually starting to go and down a sinkhole, and they're about to be go out of business, to just like to just like WCW. Well, except the WCW got bought. I mean, this is going out of business. I think I think ECW went out of business. I think I'm not quite sure if they got bought or went out of business, but yeah, this is what's going to go by. And then pretty soon, Vince McMahon and WWE is going to buy TNA. Not too soon if this keeps up. So, so anywho, uh, NFL. The other part of the Sunday night, Seahawks killed the 49ers and Collar Kaepernick finally shut him up. <laughs> so, they the actually moved the actually move, move the Seahawks to first. And uh, I was watching that game, good enough of it. <laughs> Even though the, the, there was a lightning storm delay, but anywho, they got the job done. And plus, my Dolphins are now 2 0 as they beat Indianapolis by 4. And and the Steelers lost by 10 against Cincinnati. So, good NFL week for me. And NBA, haven't heard anything about it, but it, but it's actually going to start up here real, real soon. And um, in MLB, well, the Yankees lost to Boston. Boston swept them. <laughs> Yet again. It's Boston's year in the uh, New York-Boston rivalry. <laughs> but... Uh, so now the Yankees are in trouble for playoff berth. I hope they don't make it. And, um, and NCAA football. Well, the Oregon Ducks made the SEC look like a joke. Ha <laughs> ha. Tennessee. Whoa, we killed them. I think it was 56, can't quite remember. It was 59 or 56 to 10, to 14. And, and, and actually, now having Colt, the Beast, Colt Lairla. We had an, a, an, a, another new freshman uh, tight end that also creates some damage. So, Ducks looking good, guys. So, I just hope they keep it up. And, um, and plus, I was over Martin State, too. They actually won their game in overtime against Utah. That was a late game, and uh, they barely survived. They, they, they were up like 20 to 10, I think, in the third quarter, and then Utah came right back, and they were tied. I think it was 45 45 in the. In the uh, Fourth quarter and red regulation went overtime. Utah, Utah got a field goal, then the Beavers uh, scored a touchdown. And it and plus it plus that the ball was almost picked too because the Devils lost the game because one defender on Utah almost had the ball but went right through his hands and he just did not make the pick. But oh well, at least they rebounded back from the loss from Eastern Washington, which they lost to Toledo this week. <laughs> so and um, who else? Oh. And most boys stayed warm to Air Force. It was 44 to 20. So, uh, and then they got Fresno State Friday night. And, uh, and also, guys, the games to watch, I actually know. But this one might be a blowaway between LSU and uh, Auburn. I think I'll pick LSU on that one. But one game you should watch and, and, a, and a tune into is um, Arizona State at Stanford. It'll be a good game. Stanford's kind of struggling right now. I mean, they came to a close game with Army last week. So, I'm going to watch that game on Fox. It's, I think it's on at 4 or 5. So, yeah. That's when I'm going to be watching. That would be good. Because the... And the... And the Ducks have, have a bye week this week. So, I'll be with that. And the Beavers got San Diego State at San Diego State. So, but yeah. And plus the, the Cal game. That's the next game that's on late. 7.30 my time. I mean, not this week. But, the, but like I said, the uh, Ducks have a, have a bye week this week. So the next week, the next game is first and Cal at 7.30, my time on Patrol Network. So, which I'll get online, no big deal. So, <laughs> and plus, uh, well, actually, no, I'll be having it on my TV. That's right. I, I got Comcast now, and the Comcast has Pac-12 Network. So, yay. So I'll be glad to be watching that. Um, I'm well enjoying that. And um, what else? Oh, Michigan really... Kind of dropped four spots in, in the standings by a close game with Akron? Really? Akron. Really, Michigan? After you beat Notre Dame, you almost lost to Akron? Ha! Unbelievable. But, but you know, his, Michigan's history of close games, though, Appalachian State, we all remember the greatest upset in history. And this one almost went down with it. So, 
Anywho, that's all said and done. And uh, I have heard anything else. High school football, Pendleton is really whooping to the teams and in their games. I think that I think their last game they won I think it was sixty two to six, I think. Over another team from Portland, and plus Hermanson got blown out pretty well too by a uh, defending state champion. Where you guys, you won't believe this. They scored 42 points in the second quarter. This team that that Hermanson was against, I couldn't believe it. That's terrible, terrible, terrible defense, and probably a lot of pick six sixes. That was. I laughed because uh, Hermanson's got a new uh, got a new football field and <laughs> boy, that really showed something on it, didn't it? <laughs> but anywho, yeah, sorry guys, my hat wants to keep going up and up, so I mean, it wants to keep coming off, but yeah. So, hey guys, here's my video game music choice of the week. I never played this game, I never heard of it, but I actually got it off of Botchamania. It's Dragon Ball Z Super Bododen 2 soundtrack. It's Piccolo's theme. So, yeah, like I say, I'm, I just like the theme that they actually found on here from, uh, like I said, Botchamania. So, the, that's where I got it from. But, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Saying who, um, well, the news this week, well, it's all about this Syria crap, the Civil War, nuclear weapons, blah, 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 and everything else, but... And now... Should we attack them? No. Because, A, we should not get involved in their war, which we actually made that mistake in the Vietnam War. And B, if they attack us first, if they attack us, then we fight them. And C, Russia is almost on their side, on, on Syria's side. So, the thing, U.S., stay out of it. Simple enough. Because now the Congress has turned it over to the President about this. And, and the President's smart enough, we should not get involved. Unless they attack us. That's the only problem, that's the only thing with wars, if they attack us, we go attack them. It's that simple. In uh, Pearl Harbor, they attacked us, we got them back. 9-11, we got them back. Vietnam, they do nothing. So we should not get involved. At all. I think we should stay out of serious business. If they have nuclear weapons, big deal, that's their country. So. My big thing, just stay out of it. So, guys, uh, video's coming next. Uh, Day Reckoning, still doing that. I have been doing that because of Roundup this week. It's been whew, treacherous, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, yeah, a lot of activities happen around downtown. And, uh, I don't know, just tell you guys, downtown Main Street Roundup, the entertainment absolutely sucked. It did. They had hardly entertainment when I went down there. I mean, I didn't hardly spend an hour over there. I actually met with some people. I was down there. I knew some people, but the entertainment just part of sucked. 
I mean, heck, I could have hired Jason Sensation, who, t who actually does the, the, the wrestling impersonations. I could have probably hired him, and he would probably save the day down there. I mean, it was that bad. It was just that bad. I mean, but, uh, but that's an, 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 another fun of them. Well, well it's an, another fun that goes through its through, through the Main Street Cowboys. So they're the ones who provide all that, and not, not the Roundup, so... And the Roundup didn't have much money either to provide anything. No Jets went by this year, so... Oh, well. And plus, last Sunday, of Seattle Storm, Pendleton had a quite of a windstorm. Had uh, two trees knocked down here in town, so... <laughs> uh, had one by, uh... Uh, well, I don't know if you're gonna give me on this, but it's a, uh... Well, I walked to work on... On the sidewalk, and it's right by Bank of the West and Dean's Deli in Pendleton. And um, apparently, there's a little grassy area, kind of a shade area. One out of the three trees got tipped over. It's a big tree, and if and I think it, yeah, it actually tipped that this way. It kind of gave away, and then it fell right down, and just. Because the reason was, we actually also had a rainstorm, too, before the windstorm. So it kind of soaked up the ground. That would made the tree tip. And plus, a uh, one customer that was, uh, was yesterday while I was working, that he said uh, a tree f fell down in, a, in his front yard. So, I mean, it's just... Wow. So I'm so, so glad our front tree didn't fall down. Because if it would have, it depends. It would probably hit our parking garage, maybe. But I don't think it would damage our house in case it landed... Because if it did, it would hit part of my room in the bathroom, if it did, so. And which I hope it will not happen, so. So, guys, that's it. Like I said, um, uh, games come next. I'll be get back on Day of Reckoning, doing Storm and all that stuff. I've been, I, I've been playing as I did with Football 14, so I'm addicted to it. I can't stop, so. <laughs> so, guys, take care. Don't text and drive. Don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly, and uh, just, just. Just think smart, okay? Just go places, be yourself. That prevents you. So, guys, take care.